Hey guys, Jay Miller here at Preferred Frenchies. I'm here with Izzy, our fluffy Frenchie. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about your uh, exotic, more exotic colors. Also talking about what is a long-haired fluffy, your fluffy um, Frenchie, what kind of makes up their, their breed characteristics. Are they a breed of their own? Um, just some general questions I get asked all the time. So I guess first off, um, some breed characteristics for you. Um, the quality or confirmation of Fluffy Frenchies has been a work in progress for sure. Izzy here is, I mean, absolutely wonderful in confirmation. She has that really nice wide bulldog look, uh, Frenchie look, and then has those really curly, or uh, not curly, but more of a, a fluffy look around the eye, uh, ears. And just overall, like your um, hair over the back, the fur over the back is just super soft and more more just really a teddy bear feel to it so around the eye, or ears here um it's super fluffy good girl mm -hmm. super fluffy and as babies of course um when izzy and tesla which you can see her on our website as well um she's absolutely wonderful she's a blue and tan uh fluffy but when they first came to us when we first adopted uh, both of these little girls they were just super small absolutely the fluffiest little girls ever so um, super small and you can look back on our Instagram page too and see some of that content I'm pretty sure we had a couple YouTube videos as well just talking about Tesla and Izzy um, when they were super young um, but yeah as far as where do fluffies come from it is a recessive gene. Um, it came back through fluffies, their genetics dating back, you know, when fluffies first came, or I, I'd say Frenchies first came around, sorry. Um, and it's just a recessive gene that kind of comes together and eventually was, you know, came upon by two recessive genes going coming together um, and all of a sudden you have that Frenchy, fluffy Frenchy look and people are curious, you know, what is that? It's something new. So it's just a, um, a very new thing and people really started liking the looks of it um, and it really progressed from there and became its own thing. So uh, fluffy Frenchies are, of course, um, looked at as its own uh, Frenchy breed. They're definitely um, AKC registered and 100% fluffy uh, or 100% Frenchy. So it's just a different recessive gene. So uh, or a different a different part um, of of Frenchies. So I guess starting off um, with your exotic look. We're gonna be starting off with to, uh, Izzy's coloring here. Uh, she's an Isabella, um, new shade carrier. She has copies of tan as well, a copy and a half to be to be exact on that. But um, she comes from color coded Frenchies in South Dakota, and she's from Eternity. Eternity's well known um, in the breeding world, of course, with his beautiful conformation and just absolutely wonderful, wonderful fluffy look. So um, Izzy as far as her age and what color testing she has um, is still definitely super rare. I could probably count on one hand of you know how many fluffy Isabella new shade carriers there are with this kind of confirmation. Now you might see um, some here and there and there's definitely I'm sure some that I don't know about out there that you know exist. Um, but with this confirmation and color testing it's you know super rare to come by. Um, now there's definitely new things coming around so talking about uh some new things like for izzy here um she is a new shade carrier new shade is definitely it's around for your short haired fluffies uh, or for your short haired frenchies um but it's not around necessarily for your fluffy frenchies um at this point in time there's still there's some being born at the time but um, none Izzy's age. So we're just kind of waiting to see. We're hoping to get a new shade Isabella new shade Merle um, with tan to breed to um, and have future puppies but it's still a work in progress and super hard to find with their rare DNA and just overall just rarity of fluffies in general which most people aren't even being able to access with fluffies um, as pets. It's still a breeder's market so Right now, just finding that Isabella new shade Merle is going to be a challenge for us, but we'll be attending some shows here, especially this month. We'll be looking at 
Um, a show in Dallas and a show in Miami, which are coming up rather quickly. And we're looking forward to it. It'll be a nice networking um, opportunity, I guess you could say. And we'll have our own booth out there and be, you know, just conversating and talking about uh, talking to other people in the Frenchie world to see what would make sense for us. Um, some new things, I guess, too, coming out are your pink um, fluffies, which is still, it's an albi albino gene, um, and it's super rare. This is Simon, by the way. He's back here. Guard dog. He's a great Dane, so don't mind Simon. Um, but pink is an albino gene. It's super rare. I'm not sure. I know there's one fluffy uh, pink carrier. Both carriers, not a full fluffy with pink carrier. It's just a carrier of fluffy, a carrier of pink. That's the only one I know that exists. Now there might be some, of course, that I haven't heard of, or you know, are just uh, flying under the radar. A radar. So, um, but that's a very new thing. There's also a curly gene that's coming around. That's super rare and it's barely testable at the time. So it's definitely a work in progress and still some some lab work to be done on that, but um, that's kind of the rundown here. With Tesla, um, she's a blue and tan. She's not here right now, but she's a blue and tan. Um, beautiful confirmation too, which is most important for us here as you know, a fluffy breeder. Confirmation is super important. You'll see some fluffy Frenchies, I guess, with um, your longer snouts. Just You don't see the great confirmation, nice round head, just nice build overall. Um, with your fluffy Frenchies all the time. So it's still a work in progress and it's something we want to really focus on to, to stay ahead of everything instead of just, you know, one guy finding something cool and trying to trying to figure out what to do from there. So um, again, this is Izzy. I'm Jay here with Preferred Frenchies and just hope you enjoyed the video. Some good content for you some good knowledge overall, just general information about fluffies, whether you're looking at possibly adopting a fluffy Frenchie, or maybe even just um, want to know what it is and just generally curious about it. So if you have any more questions for me, feel free to reach out. My number is 330-621-3917. You can always call or text me. You can email us at preferredfrenchies at gmail.com. And of course, check out that wonderful Instagram page we have. Um, got an Instagram page for Izzy separately as well if you're interested in only the fluffies but we do have standards as well so feel free to reach out to me thanks for tuning in today guys take care